Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, thank you for stopping by and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. To my uh, current viewers and subscribers, thank you for stopping by as well. Today we are going to be showing you the Cobalt 24 Volt Hammer Impact Driver, which is brushless. Uh, model number 0622, serial number 0219921, uh, clutch uh, speeds 22. It's got a compact design for ergonomic and high and low speeds and black and blue. And the case is for durability all around. Uh, has an ergonomic handle and stability and straight and clean auxiliary handle. Drill design looks sleek and comfortable on grips and handle all throughout. The trigger and the light should be in use uh, with a 4AH battery as well as using the drill. Uh, you should not use anything less than a 4AH battery that is in fully charged mode in your standalone charger. Uh, the battery should be totally charged and you also should have sharp drills. Make sure that you mark the drill at the at the area you are drilling whether it is the whole drill or a partial drill. Uh, the, 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 the mark should stand out. On a, you start on a low speed and you blow in and out the dust and then you go to medium speed. Make sure that you are centering the carbide tip where it needs to be and where you have to start. Also the uh, drill uh, that we're going to be using is a Vermont American Cut number catalog 14004. Uh, it's a quarter inch, uh, four inch long masonry bit. Carbide tip and spiral for the common clean uh, fastening area. Drilling in conventional and drilling slow and high speeds, fast and at low auxiliary speeds. I would also like to talk about this auxiliary handle a little bit as well. This auxiliary handle comes with your uh, standard impact drill which turns it into a hammer drill. Make sure that you guys start slow and then increase the speed. As you guys can see this handle goes along the uh, drill itself. It's got the fastening screw. It's got this really really nice black and blue handle. Uh, grips really nicely as you can see right here. It goes all the way through. Uh, fastens to the four uh, post on the drill itself. As you can see if I turn it around here you guys are going to see the four uh, post which we have right here as well. The four screws. You guys can see that there is a Jacobs half inch chuck. Uh, it's a uh, steel and uh, you guys can see the grip right here the forward and reverse as it is right here you guys can see right here the uh, the uh, uh, drill stand alone with the jaws as you can see the jaws have to be very very tight on the drill you guys need to make sure that it's fastened because you guys are drilling we're drilling into brick right here so you gotta be very very careful in what you do I do suggest using uh, safety glasses and safety uh, standards. Now on your standards manual you guys are going to read the manual you're going to understand the highs and lows of the speed of this drill driver. This is a brushless one as you can see right here. It is a 24 volt. You guys have a multi grip on here as well. You guys can see the uh, nice uh, the nice uh, 24 volt max. This is a 4AH battery. You guys can see that they really wanted to put their name out there. Uh, you can see the multicolor. You have the silver going into the black and then into the blue. As you guys can see, you have your work area. Now, if I hit the trigger right here, you guys are going to see the lead light comes on. Now, if I tur if I hit the trigger a little bit more. You guys are going to see the drill. This is on low speed. You guys can go a little bit faster. As you guys can see, 
you guys will also have your uh, high and low up here which you can go forward and reverse you guys also have now what I mentioned over here I'm gonna turn the light on again you guys can see the screw up here which is really really nice and tight you guys have everything you need so we're gonna take this Vermont uh, masonry drill and we're gonna test it out so we go backward we're gonna go backward my assistant is gonna put his blue gloves on and we're going to take this thing into action. We turn it around and we take a look and we just center the drill in the area. Now as you saw he was going in and out just to make sure that he was in the same area. He also uh, marked it right here, as you can see, not to go further in. So uh, you just uh, have to make sure that you're in the right speed. Now he did, the, uh, he did the slow and the fast, but now on top, you guys can see he was on the slow mode. Now we're gonna go to number two. You saw that on number two, and uh, you guys have the option of going one to two. You guys also have the uh, information needed after you tested it out. So I think that that was great. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, catalog number and so on and so forth. You guys have your catalog number over here. You guys also, you got to understand also that I've said in different videos, there is no skew on this drill as well, this impact drill driver. So I would suggest reading the uh, manual totally and having the box and all the manuals. Now you have a manual on this uh, unit as well as the battery, the auxiliary handle, how to put it. You guys also have... Uh, the uh, tool manual as well if you guys want you could even go online so let me specify today we use the 24 volt max with the 4AH battery that is a extended run uh, as you can see if we turn it around to the front you guys are going to see your battery life monitor which we are going to show you which is right here you guys can see your whole, uh, as we did all the drilling, you guys saw the uh, battery life. It was on full, and it's still on full. So I hope that you guys like and subscribe to my channel, and this was very helpful to you guys. And have a great day.